Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have some great exciting news. It's like every day it's like new basketball women's news keeps popping up. I have so many other videos that I want to do on various topics, but it's like, I feel like I find my niche, okay? I got to keep you guys informed. So the news just dropped. Number 30 of Unrivaled is none other than Indiana Fever's Aaliyah Boston and also Nafisa Collier, one of the, she is half of the owner, uh, owner or face of the Unrivaled League. The other half, of course, being Brianna Stewart. Nafisa Collier just dropped that the team, the league, has expanded due to all the financial gains. So it's gone from just having 30 players now to all the way up to 36. And a lot of fans are speculating that Caitlin Clark just might join. So this article by Sports Illustrated is called Fans Suspect Unrivaled Roster Expansion Could Confirm Caitlin Clark's Participation. And I believe so too. And look, let's see. Now that the 2024 WNBA season is in the rearview mirror, professional women's basketball fans are turning their attention toward the new unrivaled three-on-three -three women's basketball league, which begins in January and will be taking place in Miami, Florida. Ever since unrivaled was announced earlier this year, the league declared it would be comprised of 30 players, making for six teams, which is Laces Basketball Club, Miss Basketball Club, Phantom Basketball Club, Lunar Owls Basketball Club, Rose Basketball Club, and Vinyl ba Basketball Club. That were consisting of five players each. I wonder what changed them. How did they come up with those names? Those names are really interesting for each team for the Unrivaled League. It goes on to say, and since Indiana Fever standout Lexi Hall was the 29th player Unrivaled announced to its roster on Wednesday, it seemed that there was only one roster spot left, which would ideally be given to global icon Caitlin Clark. But on X post from Unrivaled co-founder Nafisa Collier on Thursday, today, Halloween guys, made it clear that there's a change of plans for the new league. Super exciting news. She says, we are now moving from 30 roster spots to 36 at Unrivaled Collier said. We're able to do this because we outperformed our financial projections. She later added that the seven roster spots that haven't been announced will be soon. So they're already coming in with some money. She's saying like, you know what? They've been projected to be doing so well financially. We can actually afford to pay, you know, extra players. Because given this increase in roster size and Unrivaled surpassing its financial projections, social media seems to believe that Caitlin Clark, could be joining the league after all, because the Caitlin Stimulus just added six more spots, just announced her already, one ex user wrote. Another fan added, yay, can't wait for the Caitlin Clark announcement. Says, bruh, Caitlin said yes because there's literally no way they can expand with the launch if she doesn't agree to be a part of it. I'm going to have a heart attack before they finish announcing all the players, noted a third. That's what I'm saying, I'm like, since they were projected to financially be so well off, I do believe Caitlin, I don't know, I feel like it's 50-50 now. I believe like all the pressure on the public has gotten into her, gotten to her. And she may have, you know, changed her mind. This time will tell whether this expansion truly means that Clark is taking her talents to South Beach this winter. Again, guys, shout out to Aaliyah Boston. Okay, she is number 30 of now the 36, okay? Originally, it's only going to be top or max 30 uh, players, 30 women participating in the Unrival League come January of 2025 in Miami, Florida. It would be nice to live in Miami. Imagine in January, you know, the weather is nice. I don't know if it's going to be outdoors or indoors. Because, again, I believe it's half court, right? Because it's going to be three on three. But um, again, the, the team names are very interesting. You know, Rose Club, Vinyl Club, the Lunar Owls basketball team. It's like, where do they come from? Where do they get these names from? And what is the, the meaning behind it? I'm having to do some more research on that. But again, you know, shout out to Nafisa Collier. Shout out to Brianna Stewart. You know, the fact that they put this league together so women wouldn't have to go overseas. So again, like, you know, again, it's a lot of money overseas. It's millions of dollars, okay? Brittany Griner said that she made over a million dollars her uh, rookie year. Uh, her rookie year uh, uh, overseas, of course, she made a million dollars. On her rookie year in the WNBA, she made like forty-seven thousand three hundred eleven dollars. It was like the, the the salary of a kindergarten teacher. And then that same year, um, during the WNBA's off season, she went to Russia or China. I can't believe, can't remember which one. And she easily got a million dollars just playing ball overseas. So it's like you know, but a lot of women, a lot of them don't want to go overseas, right? A lot of them want to stay here in the states. You know, the American women, and um, I don't blame them. So you know, to be able to go. In Miami, okay, and play basketball for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you know, for eight weeks of basketball. Sign me up again. Like I always say, I'm gonna keep joking with y'all. I'm in the wrong profession. Uh, if I, if only you know I wasn't in the Air Force and how I actually had to you know hone my skills better and actually just focus on basketball in school instead of like you know all the other stuff. It was so many jobs I wanted as a kid. Like you know, you know, many of us uh, have experienced as a child. I wanted to be an animator. What else? I wanted to be a veterinarian. I really thought I was going to be a vet because I like animals. But now it's like, I don't even, I don't like animals like that no more. I still respect them, right? Like, I like cats and dogs. But I don't even own a cat and dog. I'm like, it's too expensive. You know, I wanted to, you know, it was just so many jobs I wanted. 
And it's like now I fall back in love with basketball. I'm like, damn, I should have just stuck with that. Um, but it is what it is. You hey guys, comment down below. Give out a special shout out to Aaliyah Boston. She is now number 30 of the unrivaled of the 36 now roster. Okay, they just increased it to six. Again, make your predictions below. I believe Caitlin Clark just might give into the pressure. They might give her that big money contract. We shall see.